Hello, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Hampton Hall, located in the heart of the Low Country, just minutes away from Hilton Head, Savannah, and Beaufort, is an extraordinary place to live and play, offering a wealth of on site amenities, including a state of the art health and fitness center, a lakeside pool, and a Pete Dye signature golf course. Joining us now, Mary Claire Gaze, General Manager of the Clubhouse, and Ashley Whitmore, Private Event Director, to tell us why we should consider Hampton Hall as a place to call home. Welcome, girls. Thank you. I'm Thank glad you. to have you on the show. So, if someone's interested in moving to the Low Country, why would they choose Hampton Hall? Hampton Hall is beautiful. It's exciting. It's a lot of fun. We offer amenities for every age group. Um, First and most importantly, we have 22 homes under construction this year. Wow, and that's a lot of homes going up right now. It is, it is, and that's great for Beaufort County. Absolutely. Uh, the non-resident golf membership is available and the resident golf membership, and so anyone in the area can come into Hampton Hall to play. The median age is 46, and all of the activities include child sitting when we have member events in the evening, uh, child sitting early in the morning when you're going to work out at the fitness center, uh, the golf clubhouse is beautiful, has incredible food and service. Community clubhouse is the same way. Uh, impeccable, professional individuals serving you and spoiling you. Yeah, that's, that's terrific. So Hampton Hall, how is it involved in the community? Well, um, from my position, I'm, I'm, I do private events at the clubhouse as well as um, I'm also the member relations director. So um, my experience is um, to make sure that the members are living there are really part of the community um, and uh, what from my position what I see um, a couple of things from the private events side we do allow um, actually we work with a lot of large charity groups that want to have golf outings um, at the clubhouse using at the Pete Dye course um, or if they uh, we actually have a large facility um, that we can do 300 plus people oh wow uh, I didn't for, realize that yeah so that's a, that is a large facility it's one of the larger facilities if I'm not mistaken it is until you get to the, the hotels on the island right um, we really um, and, it, and it's one large space um, we have used it to silent auction events and fundraisers um, so um, I've been in the last few years I've been getting a lot of calls for that because uh, people who want to do fundraisers and we have a a lot of charity groups in this area, which is right, wonderful. Certainly do. Um, they need a place to celebrate or to fundraise. Right. Um, so, uh, on the private event side, um, we definitely uh, assist with with charity groups, and then also um, just with our membership, uh, we have a lot of clubs within the club. Um, the members actually uh, form them together, and um, and we just assist really. Excuse me, but um, one of them is called the Community Foundation. And it's a group of members that got together and said there, there are a lot of need-based charities in this yeah. area, yeah. and they all have needs, and, and we all want to support them. Right. Um, so they identify a handful of charities that they want to assist throughout the year. Right. Um, so in that way, we, we, um, we really want to give back. To yeah. the community, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. which is a great way, and, and locally is um, is is really necessary right now with the situation where you know the, the local charities aren't really getting sure. funds from other other locations. Certainly. So, um, what about the golf course, um, Mary Claire? Who's allowed to come to the clubhouse? Obviously, our members come first, <laughs> and residents are um, have special priority. After that, we have a multitude of ways that you can play golf. You can call our membership director and schedule a preview round. Anyone interested in membership at Hampton Hall would definitely call Chris Ely, our membership director. Second of all, as Ashley already mentioned, we do outings. We do groups from Hilton Head. We do groups from Savannah. We do groups from up north that want to come down and have an outing, uh, whether it be four, six, eight players, whether it be 24 players. In addition to that, if you are just calling and off the street, we're in the golfer's guide, and we like to expose Hampton Hall to everyone. You will call it home whether you're a resident or non-resident. That's the idea. Yeah, that's great. That's great. So the facility itself is, is beautiful. And so what are some of the, I guess, events that you can host there or special events that you do actually have there? Sure. Um, we actually have two clubhouses. Um, we do have the community clubhouse. We also have the golf clubhouse. Okay. The golf clubhouse was the first built. Um, that was in 2004. Mm -hmm. um, the, the community clubhouse was built in 2006. So for the area, we're still relatively new. 
Um, the golf club house is to serve lunch during the day, and then uh, it can also host private events at night, um, roughly up to 60 or so people. Um, but the main clubhouse is uh, the most used. Um, that's really, it was built to house all of the, the community events for our members, um, but we discovered it is a beautiful place for banquets. Um, in fact, when you walk into the clubhouse, and one of the first questions I like to ask people is, have you ever been out to Hampton Hall? Um, we talked about this earlier that uh, it's not Hampton Lake. Uh, Hampton Lake is a beautiful community and it's right, right. next to us, but we are, um, we are Hampton Hall um, and they're very distinctive. Um, but uh, at the main clubhouse, um, I think the clubhouse itself was built much like the luxury homes of Toll Brothers with tall grand ceilings. Um, they're 15 foot plus ceilings throughout the entire clubhouse. Um, we are situated on the main lake, so when, when you come through, um, first of all, you just notice the grand scale of everything. Um, three large fireplaces, stone built fireplaces, and then when you come outside, um, we have a brick patio and a screened in lanai um, that looks out onto the lake, and it's a perfect place for a wedding ceremony. So we do house wedding ceremonies, but we also um, have a large ballroom, um, the one that can do up to 300, 300 or so people. And, uh, but we also do smaller weddings and birthday parties and anniversaries uh, for 50 or so. So more intimate settings. Yes, things. we do yes. have intimate settings and we also have large, large function areas mm -hmm. too. Um, but throughout the year, uh, we do, do a lot of charity functions. We also do um, anniversaries, uh, bat mitzvahs, uh, so quinceaneras. Any, anything can happen. <laughs> really, yes. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if people want to get a hold of, say, the clubhouse and maybe either book an event or mm -hmm. view, view the area, how do they do that, Mary Claire? They would call Ashley Whitmore, here's here, uh, with me at 843-815-9336. Which we have shown on the screen. Or on the screen, we also have the main clubhouse number. Okay, And great. the 8730 will get you um, Chris Ely, who's our membership director. She's she wonderful. She'll put you in touch with yeah. anyone you need. Right, or the website. They can yes. see the website. Uh -huh. So thank you so much. And if people haven't been, they, they need to come out there and just view Hampton Hall. It's beautiful. We invite you. Please. Thanks. <laughs> well, we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.